Welcome to this tutorial on creating metal materials for V-Ray in Rhino. We're going to be creating this material in V-Ray, but you can also use any other rendering software to create this that you might have plugged into Rhino. So I've just got a simple scene set up which I've used for other videos and I've made this object here which we're going to be applying our metallic material to. Um, to give you a kind of preview of what this scene looks like, I'm just going to open this up in my interactive renderer. And you see here, it's kind of like the other video sessions I've done on material creation. We've got this sort of background piece, we've got our water texture on the bottom with some reflections. And I've got this interesting kind of cube-like object in the centre. And this is what we're going to be applying our metallic materials to. Now, to get started on creating metal materials, we're just going to open up the asset editor. And I'm just going to make a new material. And we're just going to make a generic material again. And let's just rename this metal. Now, the trick with metal materials is they're very similar to creating a mirror material at first. So, what we're going to do is we'll just apply this new metal texture to my object. And we're going to start by making the diffuse completely black. Metal is because they're kind of reflective and shiny by kind of default, they don't actually have a base colour. We're actually going to control the colour of the metal in our reflection. And the way metals work is you can pretty much control all the parameters within this reflection part of the object. So we've got no diffuse, just a blank diffuse. And then in the reflection, we're going to put up the reflection colour. And we're going to start, let's start with a kind of mirror finish. Now, if you just turn up the reflection all the way up within that metal, you'll see that we're going to keep our kind of black texture we've just got a shiny sort of black texture here that's not really the effect I'm looking for for a metal we pretty much want it to act like a mirror and to get it working like that we have to turn off something called the Fresnel reflections and what Fresnel means is it's basically a way of kind of enabling the color of the object to stay but making it reflective it kind of keeps that diffuse parameter in play so if we turn that off you'll see immediately and you can see in the preview there we've got a much more metallic looking object that's perfectly reflecting everything around our scene and you see in the center there we've got some really interesting reflections going on but at the moment it still doesn't look too reflective um, the reason for that is all the time is to do with the glossiness most metals won't have a fully glossy finish like this and we can play around with the glossiness just by turning this down and you see as I turn it down we're starting to diffuse those areas and give it that kind of more metallic look. Now, by default, our reflection color is white. And what this means is it's kind of just reflecting what is there. It's not kind of adding any color to the reflection. If, for instance, we wanted different types of metals, like a gold or a bronze, all we'd have to do is change that reflection color. So if I just click on that color box, and let's give it a kind of orangey, light orange kind of look. And you'll see there, let's make that a bit lighter. And we're starting to pick up a more kind of gold looking colour there. We can play around with that until we get the kind of desired approach. Now, one of the things that kind of really gives metals away and helps sell them is that the edges of a metal will never be straight like this because we've just kind of modeled a generic cube for this and cut the circle out the middle we're getting these kind of very crisp edges and this is making it look quite kind of unrealistic like a metal a metal would actually have a slight kind of curve or chamfer to the edge now you can model that in Rhino but there's also a way of doing this within the renderer and we can do that by adding what's called a kind of round edges to the bump map so if I go to bump here I'm just going to turn it on and we're going to click on the map and if we scroll down to the bottom we've got this edges option here and we can use this to control the edges of our material now you want to set it to the kind of units and this unit will be basically the radius of that edge um, because I'm working in millimeters let's do it as a kind of five mil radius for now and you can see there on my object we've now got this slight edge sheen and because of that metal we're picking up the kind of highlight on those edges and it's starting to look a lot more effective and a lot more realistic in that way um, we can still play around with that maybe I'll make, let's make it a bit more let's make it a 20 
and see how that goes. And there we go, so we've got a much thicker kind of edge to that metal now and we can see it kind of working there. And that's looking a little bit more effective of my metal texture. Let's, I think a 10 might be good. We'll keep it like that. So that's kind of looking at the reflection color and the glossiness. But I'd say it's something still a bit off about it. It's still looking a little bit perfect. And to give it that kind of extra effect on that metal texture, you need to bring in some of the imperfections, the smudges, the scuffs that you get on a lot of metals um, that would make it kind of look more realistic in that light. So to do that, I'm just going to pause that for a second. I'm actually going to be using some maps from this CG Textures website. Um, and we're going to be using this old gold in the PBR materials. To open that up. You'll see it's got a lot of bumps and scuffs on there. Um, I don't actually really need any of the maps apart from this roughness map and that's going to give us some of these impurities and these imperfections to play around with. So let's just download that. What we're going to do is we're going to load that in to, we're going to start by putting that in the glossiness panel. So what it's going to do is it's going to affect the sort of the shininess of the object on that map. So wherever it's white it's going to be really glossy, really sharp reflections and wherever it's black the reflections are going to be a lot duller. Now it might be that this might be a bit too heavy for the first effect so let's have a look and see how that's making it work. Oh, make sure I'm rendering the right window. So yeah I'd say that's a bit dull Start as it's because the image is quite dark, it's made it really dull. So we could start by just inverting it as we've done before, so it's a lot more kind of brighter and whiter. And let's see, that's oh, sorry, invert texture there. So I'd say that looks a bit like the opposite now, it's almost too strong. So what I'm going to do is instead of inverting it. We're going to play around with these parameters here, this colour offset and colour gain. And you can see what it's doing is it's just brightening up the texture a little bit. And we can see there we're getting some slight kind of movement going. And I want it to still be quite shiny, so I'm going to bring that right up. Let's take it even more. about there. You can see it's something's kind of happening there. So we can also use this in combination with our bump map as well to give a little bit more imperfection to that metal. So the bump map will just kind of give it a bit of a kind of bumpiness to it. Because we've already got the edges in our bump map, what we can do is if we open up, so just by clicking on the map and we'll open up that edges parameter where we change the kind of units of our bevel on the edge, we can actually drop in a texture for the background colour of that. And if I just take that same map, the roughness one, drop that in, what it would do is it's going to give it a slight kind of bumpy effect to the back of the metal. It will be quite subtle. And what I might do is I might just invert it so it's mostly white in there. Let's have a look. So what that's doing, you can kind of see it, it's very subtle. And the kind of more you play it out, the stronger it will be. We can always kind of up the bump to make it more effective. But it's just giving it and breaking up that texture a little bit and giving it a bit of roughness on there. And you see now, you can kind of see it here. You've got these scuffs working in the center there. And the more we play that up, the more that will work. But that's pretty much it introduction to metal textures and like I said if you wanted to go back change the color you can always just go back and change this reflection color and we can make it more of a bronze material you could even make it kind of blues or greens if you wanted kind of interesting colors on your metals as well or we could just go for the standard kind of silver so that was an introduction to metals I hope you found that useful and if you need any more kind of introduction to different material creations, please check out the other videos on the creation of water textures, um, glass textures and other simple textures in V-Ray for Rhino.